Center for the Ethiopian Educational Information and Communication Technology presents Educational Satellite Television Programs. Teacher, hello students. Welcome to our first lesson on logic. In this unit, we will learn about logic at its elementary level. It is called propositional logic, and it is the study of assertive or declarative sentences which can be said to be either true, denoted by the letter T, or false, denoted by the letter F. A sentence cannot be both true and false. The value of T or F that is assigned to a sentence is called the truth value of a sentence. This will be a fascinating unit. Are you ready to begin? A sentence which can be said to be true or false, but not both, is called a proposition or a statement. For example, the sentence I am six feet tall belongs to this group. A sentence with one or more variables which becomes a statement on replacing the variable or variables by an individual or individuals is called an open proposition or open statement. The sentence that X is less than Y belongs in this group. Some sentences do not fall into either of these categories. My dog should not have fleas is neither a statement nor an open statement. Do you understand, students? It is time for our first activity. Look at these sentences. Form a group and take a few minutes to decide if each sentence is a statement, an open statement, or neither. You can get started now. Students, let's get ready. Begin.
Time's up. Let's get back to our lesson. Hello, students. Have you determined the nature of each sentence? Let us check over your answers together. Sentence A is a statement. It does not express the complete idea, since the Blue Nile also runs through Egypt, but it can be said to be true or false. Its truth value is T. Sentence B is also a statement. Even if you have never heard of the Tasmanian tiger, you know that this sentence cannot be both true and false. As it happens, the Tasmanian tiger is indeed extinct. So the truth value of this statement is T. Sentence C is neither a statement nor an open statement. While you may patriotically feel that Ethiopia produces the best coffee in the world, such an assertion cannot be logically proven one way or the other. Now, if the sentence had been, the most coffee in the world comes from Ethiopia, it would have been a statement. Do you understand the distinction? Sentence D is a statement, but its truth value is F. The sun rises in the east not the West. Sentence E is an open statement, since its truth value depends on replacing a variable with an individual. We cannot know the truth value of the statement until this happens. Did you reach the same conclusion about the sentences, students? If so, well done. Did you reach the same conclusions about the sentences, students? If so, well done. Given two or more propositions, you can use connectives to join the sentences. The fundamental connectives in logic are as follows. This is called a negation not. It is expressed this way, which is read the negation of P. This is a conjunction, and. It is expressed this way and is read P and Q. This is a disjunction, or. It is expressed this way and is read P or Q. This is an implication, if then. It is symbolized by an arrow and is read P implies Q. This is a by implication, if and only if. It is represented by a double-head arrow and is read P if and only if Q. Let us see how these fundamental connectives can be used to make a statement. P represents the proposition, summer is warm. Q represents the proposition, plants grow in summer. In this case, the statement not P means summer is not warm. Students, please take a few minutes
to write each of the following statements in words according to how the fundamental connectives are used. Students, let's get ready. Begin. Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, students. I imagine that this exercise was not too difficult for you. We know that statement A can be written as summer is not warm. What about statement B? That is written, summer is warm and plants grow in summer. 
Statement C is written, summer is warm or plants grow in summer. Statement D is written, if summer is warm, then plants grow in summer. Statement E is written, summer is warm if and only if plants grow in summer. Good work, everyone. We can determine the truth of a given statement by using a tool called a truth table. For example, let us construct a truth table for negation, which states that not P is true if and only if P is false. We can make a table with two rows and two columns, which accounts for every possible truth value of the statement. Either P is true, in which case not P is false, or not P is true, which means that P is false. There can be no other outcome. Obviously, as this statement is a simple one, we can cover every possibility with a simple truth table. As a statement grows more conditionally complex, its truth table grows proportionately. You may consult your student guides to find samples of the truth tables for the other fundamental connectives. Before the next lesson, practice making each one to ensure that you understand the principle behind them. Today we have learned about statements, the fundamental logical connectives, and truth tables. Until next time, thank you, teacher, Thank you, students.